So if you would like to sign up for the Stand the Man Scholarship Foundation, where you know a young person, female or male, that is in, in high school right now, that feels that he's worthy or she is worthy of this fine honor, you can have them uh, download the essay format and some of the uh, uh, credentials to apply for the Stand the Man Foundation. Go to www.standthemanfoundation.org and uh, you can download some of the information there. And uh, we've had some really great kids that have applied for it and have won the scholarship. And they've been at the golf tournament and we've honored them as well. In fact, they will be there on Friday night, July 8th at Gates 4. That's where the reception is at 8 o'clock, uh, 6 o'clock, I'm sorry. It starts at 6 uh, at Gates 4 Country Club. Now, again, you'll have to buy those tickets at any one of the locations in order to come. Uh, again, uh, it's not free. This money goes to a great cause, and we need the money to give to our soldiers. You know, the other organization that will be in attendance as well that's done a lot of great work is the Wounded Warriors Association. Right. And would you guys like to talk a few minutes about that organization? Um. I'm not that intimately aware with them other than what I've dealt with them in my capacities in my unit before I retired, but uh, they again are another support organization that is there to support the family members of our fallen heroes as well as they support any soldier, sailor, or airman that has been wounded in the course of his duties during the war and they help meet some of the gaps that perhaps the military medicine, the military uh, medical field can't fill, uh, especially when it comes to things like prosthetics, uh, having to renovate their homes if they are uh, in wheelchair bound. So right. that they need more handicap Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Things like that. So sure. they're, a, they're a very large organization. They have a tremendous amount of support through corporate America, which helps out a lot. And they help thousands of families every Good. day. Good taking care of both those wounded warriors and those fallen heroes families so that you know their lives that have been so tragically rent apart right. can at least get back to some form of normality. Right. Chris, was this the same organization in Launchstool that has the closet that a, a wounded soldier can go to? That's and, correct. Okay, so. that, well, uh, there's more than one organization that provides that, but they, that is one of the services they do provide. There are certain uh, individuals get hurt in theater that have to be uh, brought back, evacuated back either to Launchstool or Walter Reed. Right. And a lot of times when they're evacuated, all their clothing, all their gear, everything is just taken from them in, in like the emergency room, if you will. So by the time they get on the ground in Launchstool, if they are more of an outpatient type status, they have nothing to wear. They right. have no clothes other right. than a hospital gown. Right. So they have like a little lending closet they've set up to allow the soldiers to go in there and pick and choose clothes that fit them so they sure. can at least have a little bit of yeah. normalcy in their daily life sure. there while they're getting treated. So. That's good.